Hi, welcome to this short video. Uh, we had a member on our group, Tony Vince, that inquired about how does she mirror image an image in Word so that she can print it out back to back and it would match on both sides of a piece of paper. This is basically how you do it. The first thing we need to do is to, we've already opened Word, is insert an image that we've already got on our system that we downloaded that would look nice while we do this and we've chosen that picture of the hair. We're going to insert that. Uh, the first thing we do whenever we insert an image is to right click, go to wrap text and put it in front of text. And what that does is peel off the image, shall we say, from the page so that you can move it round and it's not affected by anything that's in the background. We can reduce that size down and make it a bit more easier to manipulate. Uh, and the easiest thing to do is to make a right click again, copy. This is just so that I can show you the happening in real time. You don't obviously need to print two out. Um, <clears throat> so we've got a second one there, the original and our copy. Uh, and to rotate that, what we do is we click on it. And if you go to the top menu bar, you'll see that there's two triangles in a little symbol and it's shown that that triangle is being rotated. So if we open up the tab, you'll see that you can rotate right by 90, left by 90, flip vertically or flip horizontal. If you click on flip horizontal, it will automatically mirror that image and that's as easy as that. If you'd print that out now, cut both of them out, you could place them back to back and it would be the same image on both sides of the bit of paper. For instance, if you were making a journaling card and you wanted it the same side on both sides, or you were making a sort of spinner and you wanted it to spin round and you wanted the image on both sides, that would have been able to do it. What you can also do is, you'll see at the top right, it says Format Pane. If you open that up, go to the Pentagon symbol and you'll get an option of 3D rotation. And you can rotate that image in any of the three directions, either the X direction, which is basically left to right, and that's the one that we've just changed. And if we were to change that to, say, 75 degrees, you'll see that the image rotates away from you 75 degrees. Or if we were to change it to 180, we'll find we're back where we started. Uh, you can also rotate the Y direction, and you'll see that that rotates it top to bottom, which would be the same as flipping vertically. Uh, and you can do the Z direction, which is rotating about its center point. There we go, that's all the way around. Uh, so the thing to do, if you just want to mirror it, is probably go to the triangles, select flip horizontally, and it will do it by the 180 degrees. But you have got the option to do it by more or less degrees if you want to get fancy. <clears throat> now, because we've got both those images on that page, we could print that out, as I say, cut them out, place them back to back, and we would be fine. Another way of doing it is if you have the single image, let's take that one away. If we had a single image, if we were to print that out now, we'd get that on that paper in that place. Then if we would put the paper back in the printer, upside down, and then rotate it, and print that again now, you would find that that would perfectly match on the other side of the paper. So you, you would print it out in once, and then all you do is cut it out and you'd have the same effect but with less cutting. Because it rotates about the centre line, as long as you don't move it on the paper, it will flip it to exactly the right place so that they will match when you print it out. I hope that's clear, Tony and other people. If you have any questions, then pop along to Miss Paintblock's Junk Journal Group on Facebook and we'll be glad to help. I hope that's fine. I'll see you soon. Bye.